good evening, brothers and sisters. Earthquake 4.9 in Algeria, which is interesting because it's not Israel. You know, we're looking for stuff happening in Israel. Now, the bombing in Beirut is interesting, but I suggest the most interesting video I've seen so far is from Leland Jones. So go to his channel, subscribe, but go to his channel and you'll find it on his videos. I think it was last video out. That's worth a look. So we're looking at signs, as you know, to indicate the fulfillment of prophecy. That's what we're doing. And the next one is obviously we're looking around the Israel time. We know they're surrounded. We know that everybody is every side but the Mediterranean. Who knows what subs are in the Mediterranean? Uh, Polaris and all sorts. We don't know. But in Algeria, in Mila, Algeria, there's a 4.9. And we just want to look at that. I've got a video on that. But there it is. There's the thing. And it's, it is a good way away from the Lebanon, you know, and Israel. Uh, and Israel. So it's a good way away. So it's it still doesn't fit in at the moment with Brenda's um, that things would be happening in August. Look, everything's happening with August. And they are. I just want to say they are happening in August. There's no question about that. So what we've got to ask is what's going to happen in September? You know, <laughs> just turn the sound down. It's bouncing away there. But um, let's just, just watch this video anyway. هذا جانب من الاضرار التي خلفتها الهزه الارضيه التي ضربت ولايه ميلا صبيحه اليوم على مستوى حي الخربه ببلديه ميلا هادي كانت بريمير ايطاج كانوا كراجات من تحت دخلوا تحت
السلام عليكم محمد شو Okay, but it's utter disaster, isn't it, in, in, in an area? And it's just a fraction because we're going to see an earthquake that's going to rock the world, you know, it's going to rock the world. Um, I do believe there's one off the east coast of america but i'll i'll report on that hopefully after this one i'll go searching for it and find it so that happened and we know that happened all all over the place in a great greater amount than than happened in 2015 it started in 2019 it went vertical the amount of earthquakes that's happening so we know that we're in the end times we know that we're in the end times how soon i don't know we we think this year because we are watching israel to see what's around in israel What's going on? Damascus. We're looking for Damascus being destroyed. I'm not wanting it to be destroyed. But that is God's plan. That's the way God planned it. You know, and, and we're getting the warnings. What I'm trying to say is we're getting warned. As indeed when Noah built the ark, people had plenty of warning. It was an odd thing to do, build an ark on a mountain. You know, but he did. And he told people why for 50 years or more. And they didn't listen. Are they going to listen to me? Probably not. But the warnings are coming. I'm reporting. I'm getting them out. I'm telling you what, why, when, how if I can find accuracy because the news is getting suppressed. What's it about? It's about the end time. It's about the tribulation starting. That's in the book of Revelation from 6 onwards. You'll see it in Revelation. Just read it off. It might horrify you. It's like the world has never seen before. And these are the signs on prophecy that's, that's accompanying that. If you don't want to be in tribulation, then now is the time to get near to Jesus because God so loved the world that he sent his only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. But not only that, we shall not endure the wrath, which is the tribulation. Okay? Now, I know people will comment on this video. Now, I've got one thing to say. The unsubscribe button is there. You know, there's a lot of people getting on um, comments now that are, I've even seen Jehovah's Witnesses in there. Don't bother. Don't bother. I visit your channel and I have a look at it. Okay. And people have multitudes of channels and they're not doing anything. I'm out here putting 20 to 28 hours a week in on videos to get the message out. I'm just asking to support. If you know the Lord, just support. Just say, bless you, brother. Uh, leave leave a comment. Leave uh, some great comments. There's some fantastic comments. I learn a lot from comments because mine is not the only point of view here. The Bible is so rich and diverse. 
in many aspects it can be it, it can be translated in many different ways um but there's only one right way so we're all struggling to find the right way but i do value everybody's opinion but as i say i'd love to see other people start there the people with the opinions i'd love to see them start the youtube channel god bless you but <laughs> i'm gonna leave you with that it doesn't affect me by the way i am blessed to do this ministry because where i sit in the world I could not reach anyone. My evangelistic years were over because I live in a little place that I couldn't get anywhere. And I am so blessed that the Lord has given me this ministry to reach the world. Now, at this time, I say join us on Discord, the link in the description, because he's also given us that. It's a church online that's global that we can encourage people. If you've got people who need to know about the Lord, send them there. Send them there, even if you're not there yourself. Send them there. We'll tell them about the Lord. We'll encourage them. And we won't ram end down, end times down their throat. Well, not at first, but we'll get round to it. Brothers and sisters, may God bless you, keep you, make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you this day and always. God bless.